Hello trivia friends and all you clever people, welcome to today's trivia quiz. My name is Sean, I hope that you are doing well. This is round 115 of the ultimate trivia quiz. 50 questions as always, keep track of how many questions you can answer correctly and check the end of the video to see which rank you managed to get. The topics for today's quiz are Diseases and ailments Acronyms and abbreviations Mixed trivia Picture trivia and Famous people Let's begin. On which continent was the first outbreak of the Ebola virus reported? Asia, South America or Africa? The correct answer is Africa. What is influenza more commonly known as? Measles, chickenpox or flu? It is flu. Which body part is affected by conjunctivitis? Is it the tonsils, the eyes or lungs? And the answer is the eyes. What do you call a tumor that is not harmful nor affecting the body negatively? Is it benign, malignant or embolic? It's a benign tumor. To which body part does the term pulmonary refer? The brain, heart or lungs? It refers to the lungs. Multiple sclerosis is a chronic disease that affects the nervous system, circulatory system or the digestive system. It affects the nervous system. Which disease is caused by a lack of vitamin D? Is it rickets, scurvy or beriberi? And the answer is rickets. Which of the following diseases can you get from the bite of an infected animal? Is it lupus, rabies or leprosy? Rabies. Which of the following is a disease that mainly affects the skin? G gingivitis, glaucoma or psoriasis? It is psoriasis. What do you call the taking of a small sample of tissue for examination purposes? An autopsy, biopsy or necropsy? It is a biopsy. What does the E stand for in the acronym UNESCO? Is it Educational, European or Equality? It stands for Educational. What does the A stand for in the acronym AWOL? Army, Automatic or Absent? Absent without leave. What does the C stand for in the acronym UNICEF? Collective, Children or Chief? The answer is Children. Regarding phones, what does the I stand for in SIM card? Identification, International or Internet? Correct answer, Identification. In the acronym OPEC, what does the O stand for? Does it stand for oil, organization or official? Organization. What does the acronym BRB stand for? Blue, red, brown, be right back or bring real beef? B 
be right back. What does the R stand for in sonar, radio, radar or ranging? It stands for ranging. What does the H stand for in the acronym OSHA, hazard, help or health? And the answer is health. What does the I stand for in the BRICS acronym? Iran, Israel or India? The answer is India. And what does the A stand for in NATO? Atlantic, American or administration? Atlantic. What do you call the protrusions found on the bottom of certain sports shoes? Is it crampons, cleats or croutons? They are called cleats. In the NATO phonet phonetic alphabet, what represents the letter U? Uniform, umpire or umbrella? The correct answer is uniform. What do you call someone that only eats fish and vegetables? A pescatarian, a vegetarian or a carnitarian? A pescatarian. In which country will you find the headquarters for Tata Motors? In China, South Korea or India? It is in India. In medieval times, what name was given to a knight's apprentice? Is it a knave, a squire or a kern? It's a squire. What would you call a person who journeys a, to a sacred place for religious reasons? A hermit, pariah or a pilgrim? It's a pilgrim. As of January 2024, which is the world's most widely used operating system? Android, Windows or iOS? The correct answer is Android. Someone that falsely claims to have special knowledge or skills is called a charlatan, an urchin or a heretic. A charlatan. Which member of the British royal family competed at the 1976 Summer Olympics? Prince Philip, Princess Anne or Princess Margaret? And the answer is Princess Anne. Someone that cannot resist the urge to steal is called a necromancer, a homeopath or a kleptomaniac. It's a kleptomaniac. And it's time for the bonus question. Which country's official name is the Hellenic Republic? If you know the answer to this question, leave it in the comments. And if you are enjoying today's quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps. Now back to the quiz. Identify the animal in each picture. This is an anteater. A gecko. A hyena. A buffalo. A 
a moose. A rattlesnake. A tarantula. An orca. A pelican. And chimpanzees. Who did singer Sher sure perform a duet with on I Got You Babe, Kenny Rogers, Sonny Bono or Lionel Richie? Sonny Bono. In which country was Vincent van Gogh born? In the Netherlands, in France or Spain? He was born in the Netherlands. Which US president is associated with the anti-slogan Let's Go Brandon? Donald Trump, Barack Obama or Joe Biden? Joe Biden. Which of the following political activities was led by Mohandas Gandhi? The Salt Marsh, Mar March, Orange Revolution or Red October? The answer is the Salt March. Which lawyer is recognized as one of the most influential figures of the French Revolution? Napoleon Bonaparte, Maximilien Robespierre or René Descartes? Robespierre. Which of the following singers died first? Roy Orbison, Janis Joplin or Jim Morrison? Janis Joplin. Which boxer had his ear bitten by Mike Tyson during a championship match? George Foreman, Muhammad Ali or Evander Holyfield? The correct answer is Evander Holyfield. Which of the following was not a Spice Girl nickname? Pumpkin Spice, Ginger Spice or Baby Spice? Pumpkin Spice. What was the French philosopher Voltaire's real name? Sebastien Chabal, Claude Monet or France, François-Marie Arouette? François-Marie Arouette. And who is credited for introducing letterpress printing to Europe? Johannes Gutenberg, Faber-Castell or Karl Bosch? Johannes Gutenberg. And that's it. That's all the questions I have for you today. How many could you answer correctly? Take a look which rank you managed to get and share your results in the comments below. Also, don't forget to answer the bonus question. Which country's official name is the Hellenic Republic? If you know the answer, share it below. And if you enjoyed today's quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.